This week is going to be pretty huge for anyone anticipating the release of the new Bleach anime. I'm sure that all of you have been wanting some updates about the anime, so in this video I'll quickly summarize everything that we know so far about the new Bleach anime so that we're ready for any news that's going to drop this week. Ever since the Bleach anime teaser dropped last year in December, we have been patiently waiting for any Bleach news. I for one have read through all of Kubo's updates on Club Outside and any mentions of the Bleach anime in his Q&A section. Thankfully, all of our patience was rewarded on the 13th of June, as it was revealed that Bleach will be having its own panel at Anime Expo this year. This panel is going to be hosted on the 2nd of July at 6.30pm LA time. So this update is of course getting us hyped for the anime adaptation of the Thousand Year Blood War. Arc. They've dubbed this panel as a Bleach Bash as they're making announcements, playing a special message from Japan, unveiling new exclusive content, and hopefully even more news relating to the new anime. They'll also be having a cosplay contest, as well as several voice actors for the Bleach anime dub being present, including Michelle Ruff who of course voices Rukia, Dan Warren who voices Byakuya Kuchiki, and Wally Wingert who is the voice of Renji Obarai. But with the panel on the 2nd of July being the main attraction, there is several other pieces of information relating to the new Bleach anime that we need to cover. Thankfully, a Twitter user called Fani has been collating all of the information relating to the new Bleach anime, first of which is of course the new Bleach anime trailer that is being released on the 2nd of July. Another piece of information that we learned from Club Outside, Kubo's exclusive fan club, is that the original composer of the Bleach anime, Shiro Sagisu, is of course returning, and he has made a new track for the Bleach anime, and it's highly likely that this could be the main theme of the anime, or it could be a theme for Ichigo or Yuhobak. And most importantly, Kubo through Club Outside has stated that he loves the music that is being composed by Sagisu, in particular the specific new song that he has composed. If you're a fan of Kubo's work then you'll know in addition to the new Bleach anime, he's also been working on a new manga series called Burn the Witch, which also had an anime adaptation. From what we know, Burn the Witch Season 2 is still in the works, and in addition to this, Kubo is also working on the return of the Bleach manga in the form of the Hell Arc. We can see some of the Hell Arc Bleach character designs here that were revealed during the Bleach exhibition. Now, Fani has gone to great lengths to speak about Shiro Sagisu, the composer of the Bleach anime, including all of the things that he's been up to since he has worked on Bleach, as well as the changes in the team that he is working with, and how all of these improvements that he has made will hopefully be reflected in the new Bleach soundtrack. So ever since the Bleach anime, Shiro Sagisu has worked on really big blockbusters like the new Shin Godzilla movie, Shin Ultraman and even the new Evangelion movie. He is also working with another great composer called Masamichi Amano, who was an independent composer who had teamed up with Sagisu in 2011 and they had worked together on Bleach Hellverse. We are aware that he is Sagisu's arranger and conductor. Along with this, Sagisu is affiliated with the London Studio Orchestra and Warsaw National Philharmonic Orchestra. Sagisu is a big credit to the Bleach anime, and along with him he is bringing together all of these big names in music so that he can bring to life the Thousand Year Blood War arc with his incredible OST. So that's all of the updates relating to the music. In terms of voice acting, we are aware that all of the original Japanese voice actors will be returning to reprise their roles, aside from the late great Masaki Tsukada, who of course had voiced Head Captain Yamamoto. Fani also mentions that top A-list voice actors like Megami Ogata, who voices Tia Haribal, and Fumihiko Tachiki, who voices Kimpachi, will also be returning from the anime. We are aware from the updates on Club Outside that on the 3rd of June, the first episode of the Bleach anime was actually dubbed. Kubo speaks about how all of the roles were played very well, and he was surprised at how some of the voices had fitted so well with the visuals that he was seeing. And of course, one of the posts here we can see the actual script for the anime, with the first episode being titled The Blood Warfare. And in an earlier update on the 3rd of June, Kubo says that the dubbing of episode 1 of the anime is taking place. And earlier I'd spoken about Shiro Sagisu and how Kubo had liked his music, while well, it was this post on the 16th of June which reveals that Sagisu has come up with a new song for the new trailer of the Thousand Year Blood War arc. He describes it as a very good song and for all of us to look forward to it. In addition to this, the English dub voice actor for Ichigo, Johnny Young Bosch, had also posted an update on his Instagram. It was a short clip from the new Bleach anime teaser, with his voice shouting out Getsuka Tensho, matched up to the new visuals. I mean, what more of a hint do you want that he will be returning to reprise his role as Ichigo in the Bleach dub? The new director of the Bleach anime, Tomohisa Toguchi, has shown some promising work through his recent releases, and a lot of us can agree from seeing his past work that he is a really good fit for adapting the Bleach manga. 
Another key piece of information is that Masashi Kudo, the old character designer from the original anime, is also returning. And as Fanny mentions, it's unsure whether if Kubo has actually done some work in the animation also, but we are aware that he is heavily involved with the production. And from his question and answers on Club Outside, we are aware that he will be adding additional material to the series. And when it comes to the pacing of the actual anime, we are aware that it's going to have four cores, so roughly 48 to 52 episodes. And like I've mentioned, Kubo is going to be adding additional scenes. For now, until the 2nd of July where I'll be posting another update video, this is all of the information that we have. Thanks to Nayim Saki on Twitter, we've got some local timings for when the Bleach panel is going to be hosted in your country. So it's going to be a pretty late one for me as I'm based in the UK and the Bleach panel is going to be taking place at 2.30am. I just wanted to post a quick update video getting everybody up to speed before Saturday. You can definitely expect a reaction from me if a new trailer drops and later a full breakdown and analysis of the trailer, so definitely stick around and subscribe to the channel for all of the latest Bleach news that's going to drop this weekend. Let me know all of your thoughts about this Bleach panel, do you think that they're going to release a new trailer, or do you think that it will just be a brief announcement of the Bleach dub and some messages from Japan? Definitely continue the discussion in the comments, and thank you for making it to the end of this video, and I can't wait to see you in my next Bleach video. If you enjoy my content, then you can support my channel through Patreon for as little as a dollar a month, or even through YouTube by becoming a channel member. You will gain access to exclusive channel perks and a Discord server which I frequently use. So become a member of my Zero Division and be the first to know about my upcoming videos. And once again, thank you for sticking around till the end of the video, and whatever you contribute will mean a lot to me.